Welcome back guys, it's Krabos here from Prime Audio Reviews and today we're looking at the iBasso Audio DX120 High Performance Digital Audio Player Got a nice simple grey sleeve on with the brand logo on the front there are some specs in various languages on the back. I won't bore you with those right now. I will put a link somewhere so you can go and check them on the website. So uh, without further ado, let's just get inside and take a look. Oh, so just like with the uh, IT01S in-ear monitors that I tested recently. We've got a blue box here. It's got a slightly different, uh, slightly different material on the box. It's quite nice though. It's a good-looking box. Magnetic flap once again, and oh, there she is. Look at that. That is the player. And underneath will be all the goodies in a another black box inside. Let's see what we got. So it looks like a 20% discount code for the HD tracks. A warranty card. What is that? Screen protector. Some wipes for cleaning it before you apply the screen protector. Uh, a quick start guide. And finally, we've got an interconnect um, coaxial to 3.5 millimeter by the looks of it along with I don't even know what that is to be honest I'll get back to you on that and a ooh, sexy very nice uh, USB-C cable charging cable and data cable with a um, nylon cover, nylon sheath, that's nice. And finally a silicone case, great to see, I love to see a case provided when you get a new DAP, it makes me quite frustrated when you open the box and you've got this nice new DAP without a case because they get very dirty very quickly, they get scratched and messed up so there we have it. All right, let's have a look at this player. It's um, sort of a navy blue color. Feels great in the hand. Nice curves, substantial weight, nice shape. Feels really good. Uh, buttons on the side, power button, volume up, volume down, forward, uh, play pause rewind or previous on the top you can see there are dual SD card slots the micro USB charging port and coaxial port nothing on the left side and on the bottom we've got the 2.5 millimeter balanced output 3.5 millimeter phone out and 3.5 millimeter line out. Quite interesting. Over on the back um, appears to be a glass back maybe, I'm not sure, but it's also got a screen protector pre-applied which is already dirty. That's a, this is why I love to see cases provided. I will give this a clean and put it in the case soon. Um, so let's see, DX120, 
high performance digital audio player, supports PCM32384, DSD128, it's got a AK4495 DAC in it, USB XMOS support, total harmonic distortion is negative 110 dB and it supports quick charge via the USB-C which is awesome so hopefully uh, it'll charge quick let's take this off now and have a look at the display beautiful okay now this DAP has an AK4495 DAC chip in it which is a previous flagship chip from AK. It has an output power up to 400 megawatts with a 32 ohm load. Uh, this DAP runs on iBasso's own Mango OS, which is based on Linux. So here we are on the now playing screen. Um, the display's got a nice color. It's uh, nice and clear. If we swipe to the right, from here we go to the my music menu We've got now playing all music directory album artist genre playlist so you can browse by album or artist or genre but you only actually get album art if you're browsing by album you can also change uh, from grid mode to list mode one thing I noticed about uh, Mango OS and uh, pretty much all DAP operating systems that aren't based on Android uh, is you don't get a proper search function so that could be a problem considering you've got dual card slots so you can store a buttload of music on here but you can only use these uh, three methods for browsing for browsing your music so if you have a very large library or two large cards on here you might have some trouble finding particular things personally I don't find it an issue because I I generally keep a fairly tame sized collection on my cards as well so back to the playing screen now if we swipe to the left we go to the settings screen here you've got your equalizer and you've got classical pop dance rock bass or you can set up your own custom EQ left and right balance gapless playback settings on or off you got uh, two gain settings low and high music info gives you information about the currently playing song uh, go back here for a moment so also if you're on the now playing screen you can get the same info by doing that I should mention from this screen you can also add tracks to your playlists or you can delete tracks altogether USB settings there are three USB settings you can set it as a USB card reader for when you want to copy or transfer music on the computer and external DAC mode and charge only mode you got your play mode there the normal the usual stuff the digital filters sharp roll off slow roll off etc uh, you can you can fool around experiment with these they, they make very little difference in my opinion but they obviously uh, they're good to have the sound mode uh, in my experience the sound mode makes more of a difference than the digital filters you've got reference traditional original classical and natural I like to keep it on reference because it lets me know gives me a more accurate representation of uh, the headphones or earphones that I'm using 
button settings here you can only really change one thing you can reverse the order of the forward and back buttons and then finally in advanced you can uh, select the language display brightness you got your power management so the backlight and sleep timer and things like that rescan library system info which will tell you the model number and firmware then you've got the factory reset and system upgrade let's talk a little bit about the sound now here i have the ibasso it01s i'm not going to talk too much about the sound of this player because daps in general they have they do have their own nuances and sound signatures but ultimately it, it really comes down to the headphones or earphones that you're using uh, especially something like this that is fairly neutral which is my preference but i will talk a little bit about the sound that's one thing i forgot to show is the volume adjustments nice and responsive although it would be nice to be able to adjust the volume with a touch gesture just for ease of use and, and speed so in general the dx120 is is it's basically just a neutral player it will play back the recording as it was recorded the output impedance is 0.36 ohms which is good and that means it's fine to use with sensitive IEMs you might hear a little bit of background noise personally I don't I will I should also mention that the battery life is up to 16 hours which is pretty good obviously that can vary if you like to play your music very loudly or if you're playing DSD files for example um, or you're using harder to drive headphones then the battery life will vary somewhat but generally you'll get around you know between 12 up to 16 hours which is pretty respectable considering the amount of uh, output power this thing has the bass is very clean basically it, it doesn't enhance the bass it just plays it back like i said as it was recorded so it's going to depend on your earphones the mid-range is nice and neutral it's uncolored uh, again you get what's in the recording which makes this actually a good dap for testing various headphones and IEMs because of its neutrality you, you really get a good sense of what your earphones are capable of uh, it it can be it can be a little bit unforgiving on uh, poorly recorded or poorly mastered tracks so keep that in mind uh, when it comes to the treble again it's uncolored uh, it is a little bit it doesn't it doesn't add any any airiness or extra sparkle or whatever it it, it will depend again on your earphones I don't have it here on, on this card I have in here at the moment, but one of several albums I like to listen to for testing treble response is uh, Live at Roadburn by Long Distance Calling. It's a pretty well recorded album, but the, uh, the drums are recorded really well and the hi-hats and cymbals sound excellent and, and you can get a really good idea of the tonality of your headphones by listening to that album through this dap that is about all i have to say really it's it's a it's a basic player it doesn't have it doesn't have bluetooth or wi-fi it is it's, it's a basic music player and as long as you understand that going in you shouldn't be disappointed 
because it's got, as you can tell, the build quality is phenomenal. It it's, has a unique look. It feels fantastic. It's got a nice weight to it that makes it feel robust and premium. It's very pocketable. You've got your physical playback controls, which are always really useful. You can basically control everything while the DAP is in your pocket without having to take it out. It would be nice to have some kind of a button lock somewhere. That is one of the only very few criticisms that I have. Really nice player. It's just basic. It plays your music and that's all you want. It's got your balanced output. So overall, for the price, which is, I will put it up on the screen. I think this is a great DAP. Perfect for my needs. Uh, sometimes I, I like to use streaming, but I've always got my phone or uh, Bluetooth, little Bluetooth receivers like the Air Studio ES100 for that. But as far as uh, basic music playback from an SD card, it, it doesn't get any better than this. I, I can't imagine needing anything more than this. So if you are looking for a basic player with good storage, lots of output power, definitely uh, the iBasso DX120 is definitely a strong contender. So that's about all there is, folks. Thanks for watching. The full written review will be up on the website in a day or two. Make sure to drop by. Check us out on, on Instagram and Facebook. If you found this video helpful at all, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. And I will see you in the next one.